Alright, so hello everyone, and welcome to a run-through of the Great Gabal Library. It's a weird name, is it Gabal? I'm gonna call it the Google Library. Google Library just, uh, it's, it's, it sounds cooler. Alright, so, uh, one sec. Healer needs a minute, and then we're gonna get on our way. Ugh, so... I'm recording this on Twitch, posting it on YouTube, so how's everybody in the chat doing while well, I got a minute? Oh, the music in this place is amazing. Just enjoy the sweet, sweet jazz. Yeah, so Google Library. What's up, Tetsukage? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you for coming by. I'm just eating some, uh, some leftover garlic bread. Elite, welcome. Maggie, welcome. Thank you for coming by. Doing fine? That's good. That's good. Trying to finish the journey to 60. Less than 2 million EXP away. Alright. Yeah, I just wanted to try and finish getting 60 tonight, board. It's elevator jazz. It is elevator jazz. But it's the best elevator jazz you've ever heard. Good morning, Azumi. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming by. Uh, so far, it's the only side dungeon I've encountered. Because then you had some all at 53, or some all, which is a weird name. We had, uh, what was 55? Can't, oh, the Airy, and then we had the Vault, and then finally, we have this. And we were told there's only four, four dungeons that were part of the main story. So this has got to be the last main story dungeon. Although it's not the last main story mission. There's some, there's still some instances after this that we'll have to deal with. Uh, it's an early access Yarden. Witcher 3 was good. The only uh, problem I had with Witcher 3 was that even though my computer could run it at 60 FPS, no lag... It still crashed my computer. <laughs> I think it's just my drivers because I just had a crash on the run before this. My display drivers crashed. So I think it's just my my uh, my drivers. I actually have an update. Maybe I should actually do the update. I tend to ignore the updates just because I don't, you know. <laughs> I don't trust I don't trust graphical driver updates. I've had nothing but bad experiences with graphical driver updates. No, Dusk, yeah, Dusk Vigil's uh, side content. Uh, yeah, on the on the launch date, you'll get it. When it comes out on Tuesday, Yarden. One sec. Healer just needs to go AFK again real quick. Ah, uh, yeah, I have to check what my version number is. Yeah, the 3.5.2 and the 3.5.3.06. I'll have to double check. I mean, that's I mean that's probably what it is, the 3.5.3.06. Not much I can really do about it, unfortunately. I mean, I either run on one crappy one or I run on the other crappy one. This trash, there's not really much to say. Just keep it facing away from the group. Dodge the conals. AoE it down. Just don't get hit by the attacks. Just don't get hit by stuff. I think that's uh, I think that's a pretty valuable lesson at this point in uh, Final Fantasy. I was gonna save my AOE for the next one, but I know he's hurting for TP right now. Yeah, three four seven dot eight eight. I'll keep that in mind. Downgrading to the three four seven dot eight eight. All right, I'll try the 347.88 uh, rollback. <laughs> it's not Final Fantasy if it doesn't have conals. I don't know that that's a uh, that's just a Final Fantasy thing. I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, attach conals to an entire franchise. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I came back on, Brohan. I, uh, I wanted to hit 60. I'm still pretty far away from 60. <laughs> In all realism, I am still pretty far away from 60. DX11 looks good, Chaos. Well, yeah, Witcher 3 just has issues on PC. I haven't downloaded the updates for Witcher 3 yet, though. So I wonder if they were there were any changes there that sort of just made it make a difference. We good. Say he's all right. Sure as hell not coming from me, but that's all right. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I can't stand. Like I just with I Witcher three destroyed my friend's GTX nine seventy. So I was like, there's uh, there's no way. <laughs> I was like, there's no way I'm playing Witcher three anymore. I cannot afford a G any more GTX crashes. Uh, there's the new Alexander's not out yet, Ronso. So no one can do it yet. Oh. Duality is so cool. Yeah, this is Demon Tome. So you notice that the start of the fight is pretty normal. He shoots an AoE at someone. You get hit by that AoE. I think it causes you to take increased damage. I got hit by it in the last run. I'll have to go back and check. But the big thing is, when he casts Disclosure, you want to get behind him. That's the only real big thing that absolutely has to be done in this fight. And then when he uh, whips his hair back and forth, he just uh, he does this. I'm going to have to end up re -hutaning. Dodge the AoEs. Now, this is where I actually really like the fight. At some point, he does this, Words of Winter. Which, it's just like Shiva, where if you move, you'll slide around the arena. Gives you a thin ice debuff and everything. It's when you have to combine that with Disclosure. I mean, it's, it's not like it's super fancy or anything. It's just... It's pretty cool. That's really all it comes down to. It's just... It's, it's pretty cool. So now he's going to repel us. He's going to... Freeze the arena floor. And then we're going to have to get behind him. So if you just stand right here, no matter who you are, what job you are, when he casts Disclosure, you literally just do this. And bam, you're in the right spot. Like, you don't even <laughs> you don't even have to think twice about it. And then he'll whip around, knock everyone back, and we'll be good to go. No bees. No bees in this fight. And uh, we're good. He'll do that one more time, and then he'll cast Repel and knock everyone back. And do the same thing again. There we go. You want chocolate? Chocolate? Urgh. Give me... Give me deck stuff. Not the bees! Ah, ah. Yeah, it's too bad, Yarden. I wish they did. I'll go get the treasure coffer. And uh, we're good to go. So these page 64 things are really the only annoying thing about, uh, about this part. I mean, you have the misery debuff, which if you've done Lost City, you can actually get rid of by consoling people. You have to be standing pretty close to them. But it works. So, like, yeah, they just casted it. And the other thing is you just got to kill the page 64s. Page 64 will put a tether on someone. And whoever it decides to tether, it'll shoot a laser in their direction every, you know, every few seconds. 
So just have that person stand off to the side. It's not even fatal. <laughs> you, could, you could have everyone stand in it and still be fine, but I mean, don't do that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, Chaos. I won't get to run it tonight. I'll get to run it tomorrow. I'm going to probably try to get full log gear tomorrow. Work on Ravana. Alright, so for this second pull, uh, depending on how you want to do it, if you want to take that pull and just do it individually, that's fine. If you're looking for sort of a faster way to do it, take all of them, pull them into this room, and pop hollowed. Just pop hollowed so everybody can get in position since your healer probably got LOS doing that. Line of sighted. In case <laughs> those of you <laughs> who might laugh be like, why do you say LOS? Why do you say line of sight after he said LOS? Because eh, not everyone knows. So just going to AoE this stuff down. Then we'll go back out into the hallway and kill the book. You do have to kill the book. There's also a treasure coffer in this room. So don't forget it. Too bad I can't console myself to get rid of this misery debuff. <laughs> nah, man. Laws like philosophy. Urgh. What the hell is this? All this dragoon stuff that we're getting. At least we have a dragoon. I guess I can't be too upset. Just jelly. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. It's just like, how lucky? What's going on, Rochelle? Alright, another page 64. At this point, it's, it's pretty standard. Ah, good old turn one. Good old turn one. But he had the gloves. Oh, well. Alright, now I get to be upset since he already had the gloves. That's it, Rochelle? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Whatever. <laughs> That's not an excuse, man. It's not an excuse for show. Come on, man. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Alright, so for this poll... Yes. Well... I mean... I think he's already trying to eat our faces. Alright. Selected me for the tether. I'm, uh... I'm gonna stand over here. Yeah, I just wonder why it's only page 64. Like, they couldn't have, uh, they couldn't have switched it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll make sure, I'll make sure you keep aggro. Cuppy. I'll make sure. Alright, that works better. What's going on, Indigo? Just running a dungeon, recording some footage for YouTube right now. Use it for guide. Probably, I want to put a, the thing is, I actually really like putting a raw run up on YouTube when I'm still kind of new to these dungeons. It's fun explaining them like that. This is a 59 dungeon. No, it's level 59. This will be a dungeon you probably see a lot of from 59 to 60. So for this, he's going to charge a party member. Just stand next to him when he charges you. And, uh, yeah. We're good to go. It'll knock you back most of the time. At 70%, he's going to jump into the middle of the room. He's going to summon some books. More page 64s. All right. Might as well use these guys to get Hutan up. Uh, I don't remember. I think it was 57, Thal. So when you destroy one of these books, they'll lock on to a party member. And they'll get these fiery orbs. You just gotta drag a fiery orb into him. Knocks him out of the book. Continue the fight. 
That's all there really is. Now he's gonna start summoning these gust clouds. If you step into them, they do about eh, three to four K damage. Other than that, not much going on here. Man, do I love duality. He's gonna de-summon those and he's gonna summon four more. He's gonna jump into the middle of the arena again at 30% right after this. Oh, he's not even gonna wait for it. He just interrupts his cast. All right, so same strat. The only difference here is that while he's in the middle of the room roaring his head off, the orbs that spawn, you can actually destroy them by running into those gas clouds. So you gotta make sure that the fire orb doesn't hit the gas clouds. So you don't even have to kill both of the page 64s. You could just kill one if you want. They're just both so weak. Because the other one will disappear as soon as it's over. And now he's gonna do the charge attack and it's gonna, you know. And that's it. That's all that that's all there is to the fight at this point. Alright, thanks for coming by, Shatter. You have a good night, man. I didn't think I had No, I don't have to. Alright. And that's the second boss of the dungeon. Just got some trash left and we're good to go. Man, where is my ninja gear? Come on. Throw me a freaking bone here. Alright, so. I wonder how much EXP it is. I think I've gotten, what, 200k EXP so far this run? Somewhere around there. Welcome back, Affigic. Welcome to the stream. It was good. Thank you for asking. Nothing really special to say. These are just fancy imps. No, no real need to say anything else. It's moments like this where I just look at my chat, Twitch chat, since. Playing this on Twitch. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Listen to this funky jazz music. This fancy jazz music, I should say. No. Alright, we're good. This ad just summons two books with Void Call. I'm gonna have to re on. It's not gonna be in time. Just kill him. <laughs> That's all I gotta do. Just kill all the bad guys. That's a general theme in uh, in RPGs. Kill the bad guys. Good things happen. GG. We win. Victory. Man, I don't know if I'm gonna last till 60. It is such a long grind to 60 for 59. These dungeons are definitely the best though. It'd be nice if they use any sort of other page other than 64. No, I didn't have to fake grind at all, Oniji. I had quests for the entire thing. I ran a lot of dungeons though. Yeah, I figured it would be our last one. This will be our last, uh, our last dungeon run. I still got a bunch of main story missions I need to do anyway. So that works out fine. Yeah, I didn't have many issues. But uh, if you haven't been doing side quests, like going back into the other zones and doing side quests, it can get pretty hairy. Speed reader. That's a really... Uh Weird thing. Why do they want to? Why do they want to read so fast? Don't they want to savor the books? Must be bad students. All right. Uh, now the bad jokes are done. Dinosaurs. It's all about that Jurassic World hype. You know what I'm talking about, Dambo. Imagine I just, it's too bad I can't just AFK in this dungeon and listen to this music to help me fall asleep. What's going on, Vanitas? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you for coming by. Just getting some recording done right now, man. 
Uh, you're either, you're probably gonna have to input it into the pre-order webpage for Final Fantasy uh, 14. If you go to the Lodestone Rick Rocks and you look through the last few pages, there's actually an entire post that explains to you how to do the pre-orders for uh, for every different system. It's very detailed. So if you're not sure what to do, go to the Lodestone, look back a few pages, and see what you find. Alright, get rid of page 64 first. We're gonna get a few more pieces of loot right after we kill these guys, too. Alright, fine. I'll kill the Biblioclast. No problem, Rick Rocks. And just so you know, you'll be getting your full game code in a few days for that. Not until the 23rd do the full game codes go out. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that, um... If that link was in the GMG email. So I didn't just... I didn't know, so I just told him he'd be safest to go directly to the page with all the instructions. So there's a treasure coffer there. I think that can, that can have two pieces of loot in it. Oh, we didn't get any. It can have zero, one, or two. We only got grade three prisms. We got gypped. All right, and this is the final boss, the ever-living Bibliotaph. Pretty simple fight. I'll explain it as we go. Ah, it does. Good, good, good. Wasn't sure. So, fight sets are, starts out pretty standard. Nothing too fancy to say about it. Now it's at this point when if you get one of these marks above your head, go and run it in between two of these circles on the ground. The main reason you're going to want to do that is for this mechanic. You want them just out of the way. So he's going to do Void Call every 25% of his HP. The first time he does it, he's going to put one circle on all six of uh, those outer circles. So you notice how there's one smaller light circle in the middle of those bigger circles? That determines how many people need to stand in the circle in order to deactivate it. If you don't deactivate it, ad spawn. And you don't want those ads, trust me. So now he's got two more. Go and drop these off in a corner and another 5% HP. We're going to have to do that mechanic again. Not even, like right at 52. So, just got to do it. Now, you might, might want to break into groups of two and, like, have a leader for somebody else to follow. If you want to assign that, you can honestly just wing it most of the time and it'll go okay as long as people are paying attention. But, you know, you never know in the Duty Finder when people are really paying attention. So, you may want to just do that as a safety net. Uh, the dungeon after the Airy is the Vault, Meowry. So same deal, just drop these off in the corner. Probably don't need to run these all the way in the corner. It's just, it's very far, it's, it's secluded, it's out of the way. It's a nice safe place to drop them. We're gonna have to drop three more. And then, we're gonna have to break up, well, they don't even break up in the groups of three, you just have everyone run together. Turn this one off. And then run over to the other one, turn this one off. And no ad spawn. And now we're pretty much we're pretty much done with the fight at this point. Make sure you entered it in the right place, man. Oh, it goes right into the mog station from GMG? Nice. All right, thank you for that. That definitely helps clear things up. And that's it. That's the dungeon. There are eight new dungeons total, Everburn. Oh, I got his card. Nice. Triple triad card. All 
All right, those are some nice easy runs. Got a cane, don't need that. Oh, what's this? A ninja kilt. I'll take the ninja kilt. All right, I have a kilt now. All right, pretty good dungeon run. Those are worth about 300, 350k each. They're really good for leveling. Uh, I haven't had any trouble.